welcome back here on Prime Morning, and it's still a Friday, still a good morning, it's still a good one. The weekend is just around the corner. We're still looking forward to awesome things happening, all right? And uh, next week, trust me, Christmas is here already. Uh, they have a ton and everything. We're feeling it. There are a lot of events that are, you know, coming up this Christmas season. I don't know which of them you're planning to attend, but we're going to be here to make sure that we give you reasons to be at certain events, all right? And what we're talking about events, so for me, and from what I said, I'm a, I'm a style person. I'm somebody who wants to wear something and look good and not just look good and sit somewhere, but let people know that I'm looking good and I'm out here to let people know that I'm indeed I'm looking good. So when it comes to fashion, I don't joke with it. And that's the reason why I am excited about my next conversation because it's going to give you an idea of what you have to be doing this Christmas season if you're someone who also loves to dress and look good, all right? So yeah, Global Fashion Week is here. And this time around, we're doing it even bigger and better. And I want you to be a part of it. I've got two gentlemen in the studio who are gonna tell us what exactly to expect, what you need to know about it. If it's your first time, you're getting to know about it, all right? You're, you're too late, yes, but we can still draw it in and let you know what happens with Global Fashion Week. So this time around, the Australian High Commission is actually part of it. And it means that we're going to another level with it. So you want to be part of it. Yao Bene Amponsa is the managing director, Ultimo Gardens, uh, is here with me in the studio. Gideon Raji is also the CEO of Global Ovations, is also here with me. And it's a partnership uh, from Global Ovations and the Australian High Commission. This is where you have to be, all right? This is where you have to be. But uh, Ultimo Gardens, it's, it's a beautiful place. If you have not visited the place yet, you've missed out so much. You should check them out and see what they have in store for you. Uh, yeah, I was going to tell us a bit more of, you know, what you can actually, you know, find when you get there and what you can also do. So, but gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the good studio. Morning. This good morning. morning. Uh, you love our space? Beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> uh, Ultimate Gardens should have been, you know, yeah. part of all these beautiful <laughs> things over here. Because yeah, I've seen true. what you can give. Yeah. So is this something that we can look forward to? Yeah, we can talk about it. We can it. talk about that. Yeah. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Let's, let's make it happen. Sure. That's our new plan. Yeah. We need plans. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's good to have you here. Uh, I don't know if you're in the Christmas feel already. Or yeah. it's, not, it's not too... You know, the, the year has gone very fast. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, it's almost Christmas. Yeah. And we are ready for it. We're ready for it. Yeah. But this year has been good for Ultimate Gardens, right? It has. It has. Um, We've been working on our exciting project for a few years now. Mm. Um, and uh, this December, it's basically about 95% oh. done. Oh. So we have an open house next week, okay. uh, 22nd and 23rd, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. And we are inviting everybody to come and see because we are excited about our own product. Mm. Um, it's, we, we, we think we've done great work. You know, like every parent feels about, you know, a child. Mm. Um, these are sustainable homes. Yeah. Uh, we actually certify green under the IFC's EDGE program. So they are three bedroom with staff quarters. Right. So what we call three plus one. Um, on four levels. So on the, on the ground level, you have your living spaces, mm -hmm. your kitchen, your living room, dining, uh, all of that. And then on the first floor, you've got the bedrooms, okay. um, each one en suite. And then you have the master suite, the penthouse suite on the second floor. It's a total package yeah. right there. And then you've got, you've got the rooftop bar and terrace. Wow. Now, four floors, not everybody can climb stairs up and down. So in each home, each home separately, mm. you have your private elevator. That no. takes you up and down. Really? Yes. For a home? For a home. You have your private Whoa. elevator. Not a hotel. <laughs> no, for, for your home. And um, why we've been uh, rated sustainable is because each home comes with five and a half kilowatts of solar installed. Mm. And every light that's installed is LED. Oh. All the air conditioners are inverter AC. So... When you put it all together, the solar and all of that, the homes use typically 40% less power wow. than 
a, a, a comparable yeah. home. So that's a, that's a great saving. Yeah. And also each home has an electric vehicle charger. Oh. So, and, and you know the government has removed tariffs yeah. from EV yeah. cars now. So if you have your EV car, you're charging it from solar and you're saving money. Yeah. You know, that's a good uh, life right there. Uh, so, per our calculation, yeah, in a few years the home pay, pays for itself. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna think about this. Really, I'm gonna think about this. But Raji, let, let, let's talk about you. After hearing all this, it looks like life is good. Oh. But, but if I may just in, interject, yeah, the reason why we are in this, yeah, uh, with, with Raja and his team, is that the basic needs of people are what. Clothing, yeah. shelter, and food, yeah. right? We are in the shelter business. Mm. They are in the clothing business. Yeah. They are premium brand. We are premium brand. You know, it's Put just it together, a, and that's magic match. right there. Right. So. Beautiful, beautiful things. T tell us about ovations and what's, what's been going on. It has been an amazing mm. Just that my closing doesn't come, we'll talk about that, don't worry. <laughs> when he came, he was trying to make me look like I'm the best woman. We'll talk about it. We'll fight. Charlie, this is, this so, is me, one billion K. <laughs> you know. He actually said it's one billion K. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's been an amazing year. I mean, aside all the ups and downs and all that, it's been good. Um, this year, Global Fashion Week, I mean, we are 10 years. Yeah. It's been 10 years of... People have missed a lot. Consistent yeah. fashion. Yeah. I mean putting designers on a very global platform and all that. And we are super excited about it, especially with our collaboration with the Australian High Commission. Mm. I mean, what a way to celebrate our 10th anniversary. Mm. So um, this year is going to be a new, I mean, form of fashion. Um, it's going to be, the designers have an amazing collection to showcase. Yeah. And I bet you, you have to be there. Mm. Witness it for I, I'm, I, have, I, I don't miss Of course, you are coming. You, are, you have no option, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about the yeah, collaboration. Sure. What, what necessitated us, you know, getting on board uh, the uh, Australian High Commission? Okay, I think um, when it comes to fashion, there's a lot we have to learn, yeah. especially even in the showbiz space. A lot we have to learn. There's a lot that Australia is doing that um, I believe that this connection is like an opener for uh, in Ghanaian designers to also get that experience. Mm -hmm. And so the collaboration is basically to a fusion of the First Nations within the Australians who are more into Aboriginal fabrics. So on the night, that's today, mm -hmm. we're going to have designers, Ghanaian designers, showcase with fabrics made by the First Nations in Australia. Right. And also we'll have some designers showcase the exclusive collection at the show. So it will be amazing, I mean. Mm. Uh, and that's happening tonight. Tonight. So, so tonight is more like a private show. Mm -hmm. uh, but the mega show is on Sunday, which is at the La Palme Royal Beach Hotel. Um, it's, it's going to be amazing. It starts at 7 p.m. Mm. And get all the, all the brands you can think about on the show. And you have to be there. Yeah, you, you, yeah. We, we, we let them know how they can be there. I mean, I'm sure, sure a lot of people are out yeah. there. They want to see it. Yeah. They want to be part of it. We'll let them know. Yeah. I've got... No choice. So, <laughs> You're coming. <laughs> I'm there already. And I'm coming with my guys this week. Of course. Week. So, yeah, course. it's going to be a lot of uh, entertainment as well. Yeah. But let's talk about, you know, your, your partnership with them. What do we seek to also achieve from this, you know, in terms of our, our partnership? Okay. Um, so, my co-founder yeah. is a Ghanaian Australian. Okay. We've been working together for over 20 years, for a long time now. Mm. Over 30, actually. Because... Originally, I was part of GTS Drilling. Okay. I used to be CFO of the company, and then I stepped out and went into different things. And um, the founder and CEO of GTS Drilling partnered with me on that. And a lot of the things that we've got, even our in, we have a gym, and the entire gym setup, the equipment, was imported from Australia. Oh. So there is a significant Australian content in what we do mm -hmm. and because of the nationalities and the background it's also uh, again a, a natural partnership for us mm -hmm. so we are showcasing that partnership between ghana and australia they are doing the same it just made sense for us to do it but the other thing is we we believe in telling ghanaian stories yeah and Culture, usually people just think of drumming and dancing when it comes yeah. to culture. But actually, fashion is 
a critical part of culture. We, yeah. it, it's, it tells its own story about how we use materials and sustainability and all of that. Mm. And, and so we think that it's a great thing that you're doing. Mm. And uh, yeah. Mm. We're, we're Let's look at some of the benefit that comes with this. I mean, if you're a designer, if somebody loves to wear good stuff and the person is coming, what are some of the things the person is supposed to expect, you know, throughout the period? Well, well uh, I'd say innovative designs. You know, every, almost every day there's a new trend. Crazy stuff. I mean, <laughs> and fashion breaks the rule, you know. Yeah. So you need to come and check the trends and what is happening uh, within the season, especially as 2023, 2024. Designers, we have amazing designers putting up a very great collection, which, you know, it's very good for the season and all that. So it'll be good for everybody to come. Not only that, but we also have international designers that have oh. flew, I mean, they've flown in to Ghana just for the show. So uh, as a fusion of culture, as he said, and I think it's a very perfect opportunity for us because the purpose of Global Fashion Week is to serve as a global voice of fashion. Yeah. So a platform dedicated to projects all the good works of our designers and put them on the global spotlight. Mm. So basically, I mean, it's a must to be around. Mm. In, in terms of acceptance from these, you know, um, designers and everybody that has been part of it over the past 10 years now, yeah. in terms of acceptance, how, how much does this mean to them when you have interactions with them? To, to be honest with you, this means a lot. The good thing is that um, since our inception in 2014, well, we started with Mercedes-Benz, so it was called Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, mm. uh, which we have done in Ghana, and then also, uh, we still do that in Rwanda. And so, most of the times, I mean, the ones that you get to showcase here, they get to also showcase in East Africa, right. in Rwanda, and all that. So, this means a lot to the designers, and not just that, but projecting Ghanaian fashion on a global scale. And so, uh, this has come to stay. I mean, for 10 years, it's not been easy. Uh, we've had challenges with sponsorships. Mm. We've had challenges with, um, I mean, it was down to uh, budget. Yeah, because a lot uh, goes into A this. lot goes into it yeah. from the production to models, paying models and yeah. all that. And this is, uh, this is a perfect opportunity for models and designers to also showcase their creative. Mm. So basically, this serves as a platform for them to showcase their creativity and then also and market themselves as individuals, yeah. Mm. Uh, let's find out from, you know, your, your end. What are some of the things that people will come and see, benefit from what, they, you know, they're coming to be a part of and all of that from your, your, your brand? Oh, it's uh, basically the values are the same. Okay. It's about telling a Ghanaian story, um, Ghanaian capability, mm. working to international standards, Innovation. Mm. Okay, he he's doing it with fabrics. I'm doing it with concrete, yes. yeah. and, you know, glass, and, yeah. you know, materials like that. Mm. So yes, what I promise people is that the visitors they will see buildings in a whole new light mm. and see that property, the building is also meant to tell a story about how people live mm. or how they could live. And so that, that's what we're doing. Mm. But I, personally, I, was, I also have a little ambition. Hey. As, you can, <laughs> I, I, as you can see, okay. I'm not as stylish as you guys. Okay. I'm hoping that by the end of the evening, you know, <laughs> you'll be I, something I, I'll be, I'll, who knows? I may go home dressed <laughs> different people. Different people, how like you came in. <laughs> exactly, yes. exactly. No, you should ensure that. <laughs> or maybe sure. we'll just... This is a conspiracy. But we don't let know. Because I know, I know. I, I mean, all your your outfits are dirty. Yeah, so no, you're I'm... breaking all the fashion rules. <laughs> <laughs> so Raj, what we we'll do is that we will make sure that we turn into something else before that's we leave all, the place. Right? That's all. But, but, but you, are like you ready for how we're going to? Gonna... <laughs> you know, when you work in mining and concrete, you. you... T-shirt, like, you know what I mean. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll, I, we'll put it on. We'll put yeah, it on. Don't worry. I, I see. I could look better. So. I'm sure you get back home and go. How did yeah. I get here like this? Yeah. You know, but you love it. But yeah. it, it, you know, affordability is always a problem in this country. I don't know from your end how things are, but what's the assurance you can give to people? Because I'm watching all this video of how mm. these wonderful things you put together and all that, and I'm saying this was cost a fortune and all that. What's the assurance that we can all own a place like that? Um, so, I have to be upfront that we are a premium brand. Awesome. We look at affordability in terms of value. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. Are you getting what you've paid for, or yeah. even a bit more than you've paid, paid for? And, and if you have a home where your the operating cost of the home, in terms of energy use, water use, you know, that, that, that's all reduced yeah. because of how the home has been developed. But also about being comfortable. Mm -hmm. When you, you know, you come out, you face all the stresses and everything. You go home, you settle down into a comfortable space, you know, luxury that pays for itself over time. Yeah. So that's what we are offering. Yeah. That's what we offer. Mm, awesome. It's good stuff. Now, you mentioned sponsorship and how it's become a problem and all of that. Yeah, you know, but I, I, I mean, thanks to <laughs> Yao and his team yeah. from Ultimo and then uh, the GTS drilling guys. You're welcome. Um, I mean, they believe in the vision because, you see, as compared to the Francophone countries, Ghana is still picking up when it comes to fashion. Yeah. Um, it's always questionable even if you try to be very stylish, yeah. you know, and it's really a problem. But some companies are seeing the vision and also supporting initiatives like this that we are very grateful to them and other people, other sponsors that are making this a possibility mm. and all that. So I want to say a big thank you to Ultimo Gardens, GTS Drilling, um, the team at Yedaleva, McBerry Biscuits, uh, Bella Qua, and others that have made this a possibility. And more importantly, to the Australian High Commission for this partnership. We don't take it for granted at all. Mm. I mean, this we see this as a very great eye-opener for our designers and a platform to really fulfill our vision of projecting our designers on a global platform. So, the, I mean, we are very grateful. Yeah. Awesome. So, when are we ending um, the, the entire... Okay, so show. the mega show is on Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, yes, this Sunday at the La Palma Royal Beach Hotel. The show starts at, um, six, uh, on, at 6 p.m. sharp. Uh, we have the likes of uh, Abrante, the gentleman showcasing. Mm, my brother. We have the likes of um, Bushai. We, we have the likes of Jay Ray Gatti, yeah. who won Emmy Awards. Yeah. We have the likes of, um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, a, a lot of great. And these are great, great designers. Yes, yeah, so we have designers from uh, Kamana Falis from Mozambique. We have um, Mona Kikuto from South Africa, uh, Mary Martin London from, the, from London. I mean, the lineup is huge, yeah. and so I'm, sh I'm sure you wouldn't want to be. This is just fusion of culture, Ghanaian culture. We want to tell the Ghanaian story mm. on a global platform. Mm. That's why we call ourselves Global Fashion Week. So we'd want to see everybody come in their numbers. Mm. I mean, but I want to give us some free tickets as well. Yeah, sure. I was going to ask how <laughs> people can actually get yeah. part of that. Is yeah. it strictly by invitation, right? Oh, no, strictly by inv invite to today's event. But on Sunday, it's open to the public. Um, where tickets lick, if you want to purchase a ticket, you go to Ticket Lake. Uh, the number is 055-2520-555. So ticketlake.com uh, is selling all our tickets and all that, yeah. All right. So those of you who have not seen, you know, Global Fashion Week, you have, you've not been there before, you want to be there this time, you want to, you know, look at it from where we are sitting right now. Take a look at this. When I come back, I'm forced to actually open the phone line and see if we can give some tickets out, you know, so you can also come and experience what we are going to be experiencing on the day. So check this out. I'm back in a bit. In a world where still meets culture, Global Fashions, in collaboration with the Australian High Commission, Ghana presents Global Fashion Week 2023. Yes, it's the Global Fashion Week 2023. This December, Witness the resurgence of elegance and creativity. It's the time of the year to immerse yourself in the power of fashion. Join us for an exquisite evening celebrating indigenous African and Australian fashion. Mark your calendars for the fashion event of the year, Global Fashion Week 2023. This event is slated on the 17th of December at the Pan Royal Beach. Open to the public. Global Fashion Week 2023 is probably supported by. Welcome back here on Prime Morning, and we're still talking about Global Fashion Week 10th anniversary. And uh, we are so excited about it because it's been a long journey. Uh, too many things have happened, but we've been here. Consistency, we've been able to make it to this point. And so we want you to be a part of our anniversary. And that's the reason why we're giving a ticket out there for you to come and experience designers from 
all over the world, you know, showcase what uh, they can also, you know, make uh, when it comes to making people look good, all right? You know, I'm, I'm crazy about designs. I'm crazy about everything. This morning, we came and Rosalind started touching my nipple in here. Like, really, I don't know what she saw. <laughs> what she saw. <laughs> He's trying as much as possible to bring whatever out, but that's what it is. We can be crazy like that. We love, we love to look good. We love to wear good stuff, all right? So give me a call right now. I'm going to ask you very easy questions, you know. If you get them right, I'm going to give you a ticket. So, uh, Raj, do I have the tickets? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, these are the tickets that I have. I've got, oh, that's a lot, though. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of tickets for you this morning. So, just give me a call. Let me know if you, you really know about Global Fashion Week. I'll ask you a few questions. And then i give you a ticket, all right? We're going to give these tickets to our show. It's a Friday, so we're giving the ticket. This one is for... Tonight, or it's for the Sunday. main show? This Sunday. one's for Sunday. All right, so Sunday, this is the ticket you would need to be part of the Global Fashion Week. All right, uh, that's what it is. But how, how do you, or what's the impact of fashion? I know you do concrete and all that, but <laughs> in terms of your staff, you know, the, the, the people around you, how has the impact of fashion been like, you know, apart from you? Um, so... Uh, I'll start from the obvious place, okay. which is that we do have a marketing team. Okay. Uh, and of course, they, they have like to look to good. present themselves well. So, and then we also work with a lot of young people mm. who are quite fashion forward mm. uh, as well. So um, I see it all around me, even if it hasn't rubbed off me. Mm. Um, and and um, I, I think that being ways that in which people express themselves, mm. that, that's always important. Mm. That's always mm. important. So the, the impact really is on confidence, okay. how they carry themselves, mm. which then impacts how they get things done. Mm. Your, your clients, when you meet some of them who want to buy the buildings that you have and how they're dressed, yeah. do you look at the building that you've made for them and say, hey, this person, no. the way he's dressed, yeah. <laughs> the painting alone has to be written down or something just to, you know, put that person in the fashion no. sense. No, uh, uh, on that, I have to be honest. Over time, we, there isn't a huge correlation between how people dress mm. and their ability to buy. Yeah. Um, you will see, sometimes you, you, you see it in small cues, so maybe the watch that the person is wearing, okay. you, you know, the shoe and all of that. So if you appreciate, uh, I mean, I like watches, so uh, <laughs> I, I can tell, right? Um, but generally, um, we have learned not to judge the book by the cover. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, have, I have seen people who love certain colors mm. by way of mm. dressing. Yeah. And so they want that colors to reflect in their rooms, in their homes. Uh, so if the person is into sea blue, most of the colors in the room are sea blue. blue if the yeah, person is yeah. white, most of his colors in his rooms, you know, or different places of his house are yeah. white. Well, what we also do is that in the interior, yeah. we give people the chance to express themselves. Okay. So sometimes people may ask us to do certain things, but it's more usual for them to move into the home mm -hmm. and just... Is that that they want to read? <laughs> they want to, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so that happens. Not often, mm. because we do our homes to such a standard that people are usually happy with oh, great. What, what they get. Yeah. But from time to time, you get someone who... Wants some setting specifications. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and usually they want to say, you know what... Uh, let me handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I see good stuff. Now, before we go, um, your message to Ghanaians, you know, and the support they've given you over the period in terms of Global Fashion Week. Okay, so what I'll say is that um, let's keep supporting our own. Let's keep buying made in Ghana. Uh, this will be uh, the only way to support our designers because we are always supporting. Funny enough, in Rwanda, mm. Um, there's a band in second-hand clothing and all that. Oh. And everything is produced right, in the right there. And it's, in a way, it's engaging the designers. Yeah. They're producing boxer shows, yeah. box, everything. everything. Um, I think uh, Ghana also has to get there because it will create a lot of employment and all that. Mm -hmm. So let's support our own and be there on the 17th at the La Pomeroy Beach Hotel for the Global Fashion Week. Um, we're on social media. You can reach us on our Instagram page at GFW Africa. 
or on um, Facebook uh, as African Fashion Festival. And we'll be happy to see all of you on Sunday at the Global Fashion Week. Great. Yeah, yeah before we go, so message to you, your, your clients yeah. as well. So um, we're hoping that people will attend the open house 22nd, 23rd December, mm. 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. But we also have a social media presence, um, Instagram, LinkedIn, mm. so people can look us up, Ultimo Gardens. And um, we, I can also give out the number of yeah, our sure. head of marketing so that anyone can reach out. Um, and it's a very simple number, 055-192-9292. Okay, 055 that's simple indeed. 192-9292. All right, so that's the number you can call on and reach Ultimo Gardens and uh, speak to the marketing manager. Just sometimes you're scared to talk to them, but go and talk to them. <laughs> you realize that it's not even... <laughs> like you're looking at it, you know. It is so, not. Yeah, let's make it happen. But yeah. gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for sharing this with us. Uh, you could have been selfish, but you're here. As for you, you're selfish. That will be just. <laughs> you came here but I'll take, about... I'll take you outfit though. Uh, no, 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 no. That's a thing that. <laughs> so we'll put that together and make something for you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's what it yeah. is. But please be sure you're attending the program this weekend. It's going to be mega. You're not missing out. I'm going to keep these tickets now. We're going to give to uh, those. Uh, later on, we'll open the phone lines and then we'll share uh, the tickets. So please do well and make your way there. And let's all make Global Fashion Week a very successful one. It's the 10th anniversary. And we can't just, you know, wait to be there on Sunday. So, guys, we'll see you there. Gentlemen, thank you so much for making it happen. We have some more conversations coming up. Uh, Fia Nocturno will be joining us here on the show. And also, uh, CNY is standing by with sports training as well. So, yeah, please do stay with us here on Prime Morning.